Hi, I'm Jeremy, the author of Exploring Arduino. What you're about to watch is a brief video demonstration of one of the projects in the second edition of the book Exploring Arduino. If you don't already have the book, visit exploringarduino.com to learn more about it and where you can buy it. If you make a cool project from the book and want to share it, please use the hashtag exploringarduino on social media. Okay, good luck with the project. Okay, so in this example, we're learning about hardware debouncing and interrupts. The way this circuit is set up is we have our switch right here. Uh, when the switch is pressed, it's shorting the far side to the near side, which is connected to ground. When it's unpressed, it's being pulled up to 5 volts through this pull-up resistor. When we press the button, uh, the signal travels through this RC filter network. That's this resistor and this capacitor here. And then into the inverting Schmidt trigger right here. It goes through the inverting Schmidt trigger and then travels to pin 2 of the Arduino Uno, which uh, corresponds to interrupt uh, hardware interrupt ID 0, although the code abstracts that's, that away for us. We have an RGB LED hooked up here that's cycling from off to on, uh, cycling through a bunch of colors when we press the button. So each time we press the button, it's going to go red, blue, green, and it's going to transition at whatever brightness it's currently at, just change to the next color. Now, the debouncing is important here because we're using delay functions to control the fade up and fade down speed of the LED. In order to get the state of the button, we don't want to have to pull it because we need to be checking very frequently as the LED goes up and down. So instead, we use an interrupt that's listening for this signal pin uh, to rise. And by using this RC filter network, we ensure that the bouncing caused by this mechanical switch is filtered out and we always get a clean signal at the output of the Schmidt trigger that's either high or low and only transitions once per button press. So each time we click it, we know it's only going to cycle to the next color uh, and not skip any beats.